Hi everyone, Niklas Seidloff here from IBM and OpenNTF. I've continued to work on the prototype that shows how the basic user experience could be improved for the rich client user interface of the discussion template. So what you see here is the out-of-the-box user interface of the discussion template as it comes um, with 8.5 and 8.5.1 and this is the same um, data um, now rendered in this new prototype here. Um, I'm using real data from the OpenNTF IP forum, um, except of this sample topic here. And um, as you can see, I'm using the Java views to make the look and feel consistent to other PIM applications like mail contacts and notebook. And um, what I can do now is when I open in the classic, in the old discussion database, a document, let's say this one, response one one, it opens this document it shows me the direct parent subject and it allows me to open the direct parent right here. Right. It does not allow me to see other responses or other documents of that same thread without having to close or switch to another tab. So when I open the same document now in the new discussion template, um, which is this one here, then it brings up this new component, the thread viewer or topic navigator and it shows um, the the document that I just opened here in the main area of the window and it also shows the direct parent um, in this preview pane. Um, this topic navigator um, shows the whole thread, the whole structure of a topic and I've tried to use the same look and feel as on the previous page where you have the navigator so I use the same um, background color and I also use the same background color for this um, selected top uh, selected view um, which is this one so this response one one um, with the dark gray color is what you see here it's the main document and then the lighter gray shows the other document right here and now I can switch back and forth and preview other documents of that same thread um, which you can see at the bottom now this is particularly useful when you create a new response. Let's say I create um, a response to response 2. Then you will see this new response showing up in this thread viewer because it's already, you know, it already exists from an end-user perspective even though it hasn't been made persistent in the notes database. So this entry actually does not represent a notes document at this point um, but it shows me that it's a response to response 2 and I can, you know, um, type in whatever I want now. Actually, I give it another title. Um, hello. And um, now the nice thing is that while you are typing your response here, you can read all the other responses or the main topic of that thread without having to leave this context, without having to switch um, between tabs, which is why it's so useful. Now when I close it, um, you know, you can see the same document or that that document here in this view and next time I open it you will see it here in that um, topic navigator this time with the right with the real um, subject that I just entered and made persistent. So this works for this um, simple sample. It also works for you know real data. Again I'm using here data from OpenNTF public that is publicly available um, the OpenNTF IP forum and you know this um, thread for example has six uh, I think six responses and you know I'm not really a style sheet expert but I've tried my best so that you know this um, you know this text wraps um, so that you can still you know read everything um, even you know when you are resizing the um, the size of the navigator and as I showed you earlier you can also of course navigate around here um, as in the previous example. Now one thing I haven't talked about yet is the second icon. So the smaller one basically um, allows you to, to change the preview document. The bigger one allows you to open that same document yeah, basically in full screen mode, um, mode so that you can see um, you know, the document here as the main document. And as with all other notes documents you can now switch back and forth between these documents or tabs. Um, so 
again we we appreciate your feedback we ask for your feedback and the topic navigator as it looks like right now is actually the result of of many suggestions that we've received from you um, so again please let us know by commenting in the blog or in the um, discussion project or just send me an email um, if you have further ideas how to move this forward i think it's starting to get um, actually real useful and it also looks better then the last thing I want to show you is something um, another person um, asked us to do, which is to use the conversation feature in the discussion template. And I've tried to do that, uh, to do this, um, which you can see here. In the view by most recent, I actually can now select these documents. And whenever I select a document that is part of a thread which more than with more than one document, I get this entry and now I can expand the thread um, and see the whole, um, you know, structure the whole, yeah, um, thread view um, in line in this view um, as you are used to that from from mail. And I can also switch between individual messages and conversations. So when I switch to conversations, you only see the last document of a thread. Um, so th this is nice too. However, as you could see here, it's still a little bit specific to mail. It doesn't talk about topics and documents but it talks about messages and conversations which is the term terminology as used in mail but the real um, issue here and the reason why i would like to avoid usage of this feature in the discussion template for now is because it's a global setting so whatever i define here um, you know conversations are individual is just you know put into the notes i and i and it's the same setting as used by mail and so these these settings are not really encapsulated you can only set them globally not on application level and not on view level and again that's that's really the main reason why i would like to avoid usage of this feature for now thank you